Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This patient presented to the dental clinic with both a maxillary and mandibular partial denture. His main complaint was that his maxillary partial denture, a class four replacing anterior teeth, was beginning to look, uh, the teeth were beginning to look short and not as natural as they had been. He was wearing both the upper and lower uh, partials very comfortably, was able to chew, and was happy other than from the standpoint of the looks on the anterior. The class four partial denture above was anchored on the left on a first bicuspid and on a molar in the back. On the right side, he was anchored on a bicuspid and a first molar. The type of clasp used on the anterior teeth or bicuspids were wrought wire and the clasp used in the posterior teeth were roach type cast clasps. Below, we have a class one partial denture, free end saddles. Which is anchored on the left, on the first bicuspid, which is splinted to the cuspid. On the right, we have a full crown and the partial denture utilizes wrought wire clasps. If we go back to the mouth, we notice on the upper On the left hand side, that the clasp, that the occlusal rest has been sheared. We notice also on the lower that, that this occlusal rest has been sheared. In trying to determine what could have been the cause of the shearing, we notice if this patient is placed back on the hinge and is brought into occlusion until he first contacts, He will contact over on the left in the area where the shearing has occurred. But once again, we bring him up in centric relation until he first touches. Now hold it, just hold it. Now just squeeze. Notice in squeezing, he has a noticeable slide. We'll do it once more. Just comes, hold it. He now is making contact occlusal contact, and the contact is on the left on the two by cuspids. Now close. Notice the slide into centric occlusion. 
It is our belief that one of the major contributing factors involved in the failure of these partial dentures is that the case was not mounted in centric relation at the proper vertical height in diagnosing how to construct the occlusal relations. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.